What's up YouTube, this is going to be the full easter egg guide slash two achievements for the Salvation Zombie DLC. And you also, for one of the achievements, you need to complete the previous easter eggs to unlock the achievement. So right, step one is shoot the gravestones of the character's deaths. So it goes two, three, one, four. Without bullets, I will resort to more primitive methods of combat, which we know will be poorly. For the next step, you need to complete the keeper ritual at the randomized jump pads. And for me, the jump pad was uh, Kino de Totten to Varok. The jump pads that it could be is Mob of the Dead to Varok, Varok to Mob of the Dead, Varok to Kino, Kin Kino to Varok, and then Shangala to spawn. And on the jump pads, you will see like a little triangle stone. When you see it, you need to keep your finger on square for let to let the keeper come towards you, and then he will start the ritual. When he's doing the ritual, only the zombies will only go for him, so you obviously need to protect him. I think it's for about three to four minutes. After that, he will drop the audio reel and then to the next step. After he has dropped the audio reel, you need to go to Notch Undertow and through the portals. Go up the stairs and the, ra the radio is at the top next to Juggernaut on the left hand side. After you've listened to the audio, it will trigger the next step. For the next step, you will need to get the audio reel inside the Apothecon using the little Arnix. So when you get inside the Pack-a-Punch room, there will be 9 holes around the map. There is 3 on the left, 3 on the right, and 3 at the back. And then when you get 3 in the hole, it will spawn Margwas, and if you get lucky, like I do, it will drop a max ammo for you. And also, if say for example, if you are throwing it in the holes but then you miss say like if you get uh, two out of three you will need to leave the pack a punch room to come back to start it again but if you say for example you get three and then you miss the fourth one those last three that you've done you don't need to do again so remember which side that you did and then after that after you've killed the apothecons it will drop the audio reel above pack a punch
after you have collected the audio reel, you will need to go to Kino di Totten and the, and the radio is on the left hand side of the stage from the middle. If you are facing the stage stance, it is on the left as you will see on the video. After you have listened to the audio, the next step will trigger. For the fourth step, you will need to collect Sophia's bones around the map, and you also need to upgrade the Apothecant Servant, and you also need a pack of punch weapon. The first bone location is in Shangri-La. It is above the stamina up perk machine on the left you will see an out of place stone shoot it with a pack a punch weapon and then shoot the apothecant servant to suck it in and you will hear a notification that you've done it the second bone location is in the church at the spawn on the right hand side of the corrupted turret you will see a stone hovering at the back above the two candles shoot it with the pack a punch weapon and then hit it with the apothecary servant you will hear a notification that you've done it right the, the next bone location is in origins of where the robot used to step on generator 3 and where slighter van used to be you will see the stone in the middle next to the flames at the back and then obviously shoot it with the pack a punch weapon and then shoot the apothecary servant you will get the notification that you've got it the next bone location is at Barucht it is between the greenhouse and the waterfall you will see it at the top in the middle it's kinda hard to see but as in the video you will see it and then shoot it with the pack a punch weapon and then shoot the apothecary servant you will get the notification that you've got it the next bone location is at Not on the Totem. It is at the top of the stairs next to the Viper or Viper or whatever you want to call the weapon. Shoot it with the Pack a Punch weapon and then obviously shoot the Apothecary Servant. You will get the notification that you've got it. Next and final bone location, you will need to activate the low gravity to do the war run. When you get to the third wall, you will see the little stone at the bottom of the wall. Shoot it with the pack a punch weapon and then hit it with. Well, when you fall off, then you come back, then hit it with the apothecary servant. You will get the notification that you've got it. After you've collected all the bones, you will need to go back to Notch Undy Totem and you will see the bones on the floor, in between Juggernaut and the door. You will then need to shoot the Apothecary Servant to suck them in, and then after, a woman's dead body will drop out of the portal. Then you need to shoot the Apothecary Servant again, and then the audio reel will drop out. Pick up the audio reel, and then next on to the next step. After you've picked up the audio reel, you'll need to go back to Origins at the top of the tower where the pack of punch used to be on Origins, and then the radio is on the table on the left next to the stairs. Listen to the audio, after the audio it will trigger the next step. For the fifth step, you need to power up Sophia with the cupped turret lasers. When you've activated the turret, you will see like a blue light crystal in the air. Aim it at the crystal and then it will reflect and then go to Sophia in the middle of Notch Under Totem.
Powers are powers. After the corrupted lasers, you will need to go back to Notch Undy Toten and you will so see Sophia in the middle as the eye from Grove on Crovey. You need to press X for it to become visible. And then you need to follow her to Notch the Rising Drac, sorry. And then you, but sometimes if you go through the portal and she's not there, you need to go back through the portal and then go back through it and then she will be there. Then you need to follow her to Kino the Totten. For step 6 you will need to go into the teleporter and then press X to teleport into Samantha's room. After you're in Samantha's room you will see a book at the end of the bed on the right. After you've picked it up it will teleport you back to Kino de Totten and then you need to place the book on the stance in the middle of the stage. And then you will see blue orbs going into the recording room. After placing the book, four eggs will appear around the map, but only spawn one at a time. And for me, for my first egg, it spawned on top of the balcony on the right of the um, Kino de Totten. But the eggs always spawn in different locations on every game. So in the description, there will be the details on where every single egg spawns. After collecting the egg, you will need to go back into the Packer Punch room and there will be like an egg type pod. Place the egg inside the pod and then you need to get 10 to 15 kills and then it will change into a gate worm. After picking up the worm, you will need to go around the entire map to find a, a, a beacon type noise. After you, when you get closer to the beacon, it will go faster to say that you're next to the symbol. Press X on it and then the gate worm will appear and it will change into the symbol. You will need to do this three more times with three different worms. And also when you've done, when you've got one symbol, go back to the Kino de Totten recorder room to like trigger it to say that you've got the worm. Left is my knife. There will be blood. On guards! Lots of it! Oh, look! And.
After you've collected all the symbols, you will need to go back into the Kino de Totem recording room and then it will teleport you into the boss fight. This is the first stage of the boss fight. You will then need to go go to the book at the end of the room and then it will turn pages and then you're playing Simon Says. You have got to remember the symbols and then at the top, after all four symbols have stopped, you will see the symbols at the top name where you dropped in. And then you need to correctly press the order of the Simon Says. So the first symbol, obviously the first one, second, third, and fourth. And what I did at this point, as you can see, when the, it turned the page because I was playing solo, I paused the game and then I like drawn it on a piece of paper so I know which symbol was first. After you've done the Simon Says part, you will now need to kill elemental Margaret's and it also the stage will change in different places so after you've killed the first lot of Margaret's it will change into a different element so you need to be careful because sometimes you can get trapped and obviously make sure you've got decent guns like the thunder gun and the, the apothecant servant pack a punch because they are very effective against the Margaret's and also with the apothecant servant you can suck all the zombies in if you get trapped After you've defeated the Margaret, the summoning key will be able to be picked up. After you've picked it up, it will spawn you back at Kino de Totten. And then you now need to run around the map and find unique items and throw the summoning key at them. First item is at Notch on the Totten and it is a, white, a red barrel. <clears throat> After you've thrown it and done it correctly, you will get like a bright white light and then the summoning key will come out of it. And then if you accidentally throw the summoning key at the map, it will respawn somewhere around where you've thrown it. Or if you can't find it, you will see like a blue beam in the sky, kind of how the mystery box has got the green light, but the summoning key has got the blue light, to represent where it is. The second item is in the cell of Mob of the Dead. It's next to the hanging body that is hanging and you will see it in the middle cell. You need to hit the poster at the back and then you get the, the white light and then you've done it correctly. The next item is the fountain turret in Varuk. When you throw the summoning key at it, you will see the light and then you've done it correctly. The next item is at Shangri-La. If you come from the top, the top of the stairs, you'll look on your right and then you'll see like a crystal in the tree. Throw the summoning key at the crystal and then you've got the item. Next item is at Origins of where the pack of punch used to be on the top of the tower. Simply go to the wall, jump on it and then you will see the tombstone from Origins. Simply throw the summoning key at it and you will get the item. The next item is the clock from Derizendrak. Simply look up where the cryptic turret is and then you will see it. Throw the summoning key at it and then you're done. The next and final item is at Kino de Totten. It is the radio on top of the lampshade. Simply look up and then you'll see it and then throw the summoning key at it and then you are finished. After you've collected all the items the next step is the final fight so make sure you, you go suited and booted and make sure you've got the little arnies and hid it in, in plain sight. Gubblegum, it will come very handy. When you get into the boss fight room the shadowmen will spawn Margaret's panzers and zombies. Try and take out the Panzer and the Margus first, it will come very handy. Now, there will be four fountains around the map. Simply place the summoning key in one of the flames. Get 10 to 15 kills and then it powers up the summoning key. Then simply take out the summoning key and throw it at Sophia. She will shoot a red beam at the shadow, at the shadow moon. 
and it will break his bubble. Now simply use the hidden in plain sight gubble gum or throw a little on it to distract the zombies and then simply take out the gun that you like to spray at him then keep shooting him until he's inside the impothecum worm's mouth and then simply press the book next to you and it will seal him and then you've done the achievement. I hope you guys found this video very useful and easy to follow. I am sorry if I got bits wrong, this is this is my first time doing these type of videos and I'm open to do more, so I'll see you guys later in different guides. With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But if... Here's the funny thing. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over. Or I just wipe you from existence. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> 